Thank you very much, uh, Master of the Ceremonies. Um, it is uh, at this point that I would like to uh, now ask Mr. Sikazwe, uh, facing you the media, to tell you why he has brought us here, or why this briefing. Like I said earlier, there were a lot of speculations, and let's hear it now from the horse's mouth. That said, I would like to give this floor to Mr. Jani Sikazwe to just uh, address us. Jani. Thank you, my manager. Um, first and foremost, uh, let me th uh, thank uh, the office of the, 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 the vice president, and uh, thank you all of you guys uh, who come here uh, to hear from the horse's mouth. Now, I wanted to even to tell my manager to say, in the first place, I'm not a horse. <laughs> <laughs> On a lighter mode. <laughs> well, um, I know a lot of people have been like uh, talking on social media and uh, they have been uh, like giving reasons why Jani has decided to, to retire. Well, um, I didn't just decide to retire some two days ago, it was even before I went for the World Cup. But you people, you didn't know about that. Okay. Um, first of all, I, I I even received a call from our new director of uh, refereeing at CAF, asking me to say, "Hey, what are you thinking about?" Then I told him to say, "After our World Cup, this is what I'm thinking about. I think uh, I'll hang up my boots and see what I can do with other things." Okay. Then he told me to say, okay, fine. If that is your decision, you write us a letter. So I wrote him a letter. Uh, I wrote CAF a letter, CC uh, FAS, and they received that. That was before the World Cup. So people have been like giving reasons why Jan has decided to, to retire. You know, I was reading, I think last night I was like reading some comments. Some people were saying, ah, I think he has got a lot of pressure. I don't know which pressure they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the things I was like, okay, people can talk whatever they, they want to talk. But let me tell you, I decided to do that even before the World Cup. So I went to the World Cup. I went to Qatar. What else have already written the letter? Even the time I, 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 I did all my, my duties uh, at the World Cup, I, I met our big bosses at, at, at FIFA, the, the referees manager there, the Busaka, the, the director of refereeing, uh, Corina. Mm. I told them to say, this is my view, and this is uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. And after this, I'm hanging up on the boats. So they knew that even before you people had to like start you know, giving your own reasons. But it's, it's normal. I wouldn't say you were wrong to give all those reasons, but I'm saying it's normal. So I decided that before I went for uh, uh, the World Cup. The reason is uh, very simple. Because when I ask the age of you people here, like my brother who is here. How old are you, my brother? Uh, oh. Approaching 30. He's approaching 30. You see? But when you look at him, you may say maybe they are of the same age. Okay? Long time ago, when you were at FIFA panel, the retirement age was 45. And I'm just remaining with one year to, to get to that. So what's the problem? So why can't I give a chance to the young ones? Yeah. We have just ended the, the World Cup. <clears throat> and do you know what they say? The final whistle of the World Cup start, starts the new project of the new referees who are supposed to go for the World Cup. Yeah. Four years. That's what they say. So whoever was watching the World Cup, that final whistle was the beginning of the new project for the FIFA World Cup candidates for the next World Cup. 
So when you look at me, are you sure I should focus on the next World Cup? <laughs> I love that laugh. <laughs> because you already see to say, hey, this guy, uh, I think. So why should I go on when I have the young ones who should come? Long time ago, here in Zambia, big people here will bear with me, uh, me witness. We had six slots for FIFA referees. Now it has been reduced to four. If this time around, Jan was, a, was one of them on the FIFA panel, meaning that we were only going to have only three guys who may be saying, okay, fine, we may target on another project. But Jan, I would have taken a place for somebody. So I decided to say, why can't I leave a space for another person? Because I've got only a year, I mean. I've done two World Cups. I've done World Cup under 20. I've done World Cup under 17. I've done five AFCONs. I've done a lot of championships. I've done FIFA Club World Cup. All those. When I asked the nation to say, what else do I need? If I ask you journalists here to say, what else do I need? Who can answer me? Yes. What else? Imparting your knowledge to the young ones. Eh? Thank you, my brother. If it is the impacting of knowledge to the young ones, then I don't need to be on the panel this year. I should get back to the other side. Then I impact the knowledge. Because once I am within the once I'm within the the, 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 the group of FIFA referees, then I've got no opportunity to impact that knowledge. We're going to have other instructors who will be saying, hey, why, why is Jan doing, what, what is Jan doing here? This is the group of instructors. He's still active. So how am I going to impact knowledge to the young ones? So it means that I have to leave one thing and go to the other part of the world. Then I'm able to say, okay, fine. I think this is now the time for me to impact knowledge to the young ones. The time I started uh, refereeing, this is my 23rd year. Can you imagine? So if a, somebody was born on that year, it must be 23 years, like Mbappe. <laughs> you get it huh? <laughs> that's my refereeing career Mbappe is 23 years now 24. 24 okay fine close okay so I qualified as a, a, a referee 1999 so I'm talking about 23 years now now I'll tell you to say 16 years putting on that white badge is not a joke Unbreakable. Not mm. to abuela. Okay, abuela footy. No, 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 no. Sixteen years consistent. That badge was here. Now, putting on that badge for sixteen years, I don't need four years to come again. You want me to go to twenty years putting on that badge? The people of Zambia, I know. Other people were saying, oh, Jan is young. You, you, you get it, right? <laughs> Jan is young to, 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 to retire. Yeah. Our last born in our family is in the 40s, and she's there. <laughs> she's there. She's working for ZNBC. She's there. <laughs> if I thought she was a referee, I would have said you have to retire as well because you are in the 40s. <laughs> so I'm getting old. In life, what is important is when you start something, you need to state some goals. What do you want to achieve in whatever you want to do? So I started referring, and I had some targets. I need to do this. I need to do this. The first target was to break a record in refereeing of Zambia. Somebody in 1975, when I wasn't even there, 
That was the record that the referees in Zambia they were having. 1975. I think some of you, I don't know where you were, because I wasn't there as well. Maybe my boss here, yes, he was there. Yes, <laughs> for sure. For sure he was there. But it took Jan to come and break that record from that. Then I decided to break my own record again. Two World Cups is not a joke. But I'm proud that the list of Zambian panel today, we've got the new guys who have come, some 29 years, manager, somewhere there. Those guys have got future. When I talk about 29, 30 years, I'll look at, because what it is is that when somebody goes into the, uh, on the panel, you are not going to have uh, one year, you are we're going to offset uh, at, at AFCON. That would be a lie. You need about three, four years experience. CAF gives you this, they look at you. Is he able to do this? Okay, let's do this. And of late, you've seen to say, Jan has been there. Oh, what is the next assignment? Is it uh, in the northern part of, the, the, uh, of Africa? Because that's where they test the referees, if you didn't know. <clears throat> there, it is tough. It's different from the southern part. Here, I can go up to Zimbabwe, up I will shed. Somebody comes. It's quite easy. Go up there. So when you see another is in Morocco, another is in Morocco, they know to say these are tough tested guys, the rocks. So these guys who have come in, they've got all these years to make the grade, which we need. And I decided to say if I can give a space for these guys, that would be better. Because there's nothing else I'm looking for. There's nothing else I'm looking for. All the tournaments for FIFA I have done. All the tournaments for CAF I have done. Let's not talk about Zambia. I have done. So, Zambians, what do you expect from Jan? If I decided to do that, I would have done. And this coming... Afcon, I would have gone. And that's a fact. I would have gone. But I said, ah, it's okay. Let's have a space for somebody to come in. And let's see how we can groom this. These young ones. Let them come. Because they've got that zeal. Until they break my record. That's what I can say to the nation. So, retirement... It means that somebody has gotten to the age to say, okay, fine, I think I've grown. Now I have to retire and leave space for others. But Zambians are now mixing the two ways, retirement and resigning. If my VP here resigns, he must have some issues, some reasons. We're going to ask the VP, my VP, why have you re resigned? No, there is pressure. No wonder he has resigned. Now me, I have retired. <laughs> A lot of people have retired. <laughs> so that's, that's all. So all those comments that I've been seeing on social media, they are now mixing these two ways. They are, they are taking it to say Jan has res, uh, resigned. No wonder they are giving all those reasons. No, Jani... I think he has got pressure. I don't know which pressure they're talking about. Mm. Me, I've got no pressure. <laughs> it's all smiles. Mm. <laughs> it's all smiles. Mm. You get it? Mm. Uh -huh. If I told there was something from the World Cup, I come, then I make a decision. As I said earlier on, then you're going to say, hey, there was something which happened somewhere. As he came back, I think he now decided to do what? Retire. But I told you earlier on, to say I retired even before I went for the World Cup because I wrote people later. And I told you earlier on to say my director at CAF wrote me a letter. Because my referee manager here, my name was there. He's here. Yeah. My name was there. But he called me, Jan, 
I've seen your name here. And you're telling me this. So what are you telling us? So can we put you together with somebody? Maybe you're going to change your mind. I told him, said, don't put me with somebody. I'm not going to change my mind. After World Cup, I'm going to retire. Oh, if that was what you've decided, there's no problem. Write us a letter. Copy the FC. I said, I'll do that. And I did that even before I went for the World Cup. I think... Uh, I've explained a little bit. Maybe we can have other questions that can come. Then I can um, answer them. Thank you very much uh, for those not very brief remarks, but I think uh, <laughs> yes. we needed to uh, get into the details of some of these things. Uh, as we open the floor, obviously I've spoken about a lot of things. I will really request my colleagues from the press to really stick to what is important. I'm sure he has opened the whole, uh, he has opened himself up, but I think let's interact, but let's bear in mind that uh, we should stick to the business of the day. So yeah. I will invite questions now. Yes, sir. Yes. My name is Patrick from the Indies. Uh, Jan 2018, you were there at the World Cup, and uh, you have now retired after the Qatar World Cup. Uh, you think you are happy that you only officially one game, or you expected more appointments before you retired? Well, stepping at the World Cup is what is important. It's not about officiating whatever game. The time I started refereeing, my late father told me to say, if you put money in front, you're not going to succeed. So for me, I eliminated the issue of money in my head. No wonder I think I've gone for two World Cups. So officiating one game at the World Cup, it doesn't matter. Because I don't enter into referring politics. Because at whatever level you can talk about, there are politics. For somebody to get there, there are politics. I'll tell you, our, our director at FIFA is coming from Italy. When I, I tell you, he said, do you know how many referees were there from Italy? Do you know how many... Uh, uh, video assistant referees were there. Then you start going through. Why Jan coming alone from Zambia? Okay, those are the questions that we can fail to answer. So we cannot try to go into politics and start saying, why am I having one game? What is important is selection. If you are selected, you are there. That's the most important thing. We tell ourselves to say, I'm here. That's what is important. If I go back, nobody can remove that history. They will say, Johnny went for Qatar 2022 World Cup. So whatever he did there, whatever, maybe one game, whatever, that history shall remain. It's like your lowest and highest moments of your career. The first question. Uh, I'm open. If uh, the FA, through uh, my referees manager here, feel to say with Johnny's experience, he can help the young ones to come, I'm open to come in and help. Because what I've learned is a lot. In refereeing, I have seen, okay, I haven't been like too much, you know, trying to see uh, who is doing this and the like. But when I'm free one weekend, I'm able to watch one game. I look at the, they, 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 they take a physical part of it to say it's like the, the main thing. They're missing something. To be physically fit in, in refereeing, yes, it's cardinal, but it's not the most important thing, intelligence. They will tell someone to say, you are good, but you are lacking intelligence. So for me, with the experience that I have, that's the part I can come in and uh, just sharpen the guys who are coming up. Because we've got potential here in Zambia. When I looked at the, the four guys who are on the, the list as FIFA referees, I'm not going to talk about the assistant. We've got potential. So the only part that we now need to 
help them is about how to use your that's all so me and my doors are open if uh, at all people need me to come in and uh, share experience even at night you can call me i'll be there the second question Ah, uh, highest and uh, oh, of course the highest. Yeah, of course, is reaching the the, the world cup. <laughs> That's the highest. <laughs> eh? Other people, I, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, there's a guy we were in uh, uh, Cameroon uh, at the hotel. That guy was working there as a chef. So the company uh, VP company had to like give. To my compliments. You know, as, the, as a company, we were going to sponsor you and you to go to the World Cup. We met there. He was just happy. Ah, you, you get my point? Uh huh. So just to get there, that's the highest. The longest part is what happened when I, I nearly died. Nearly died. That's the lowest. I've officiated West games where but Toba Mawan, I wouldn't consider that that is the the West. Okay, because that is part of the game. Okay, as referees. But the West part is when I nearly died. The last Afcon. And why am I saying it's the West? It is because of people, especially Zambians. Instead of saying Umuntu West Mwafwe, he has got this career. Let's help him to get back and see how he can fly the flag of Zambia. They were now passing very nasty comments where they're saying, No, he has disappointed us, or whatever. All those comments, which I'm not going to mention because you know them, because you are ready, you are generalist. You understand? But it took somebody's heart. They said, okay, fine. I have to. Okay? My first game, I came back. My referees manager said, you know, go to, I think that was Monze. Choma. Oh, Choma, sorry, Choma. managers. Mm. Choma. Yeah. I went there. Yeah. I knew to say, once I get there, this is what is going to happen. Mm. I said, I'm going for warm-up. The time I went for warm-up, somebody just messaged me. Oh, Scars where they don't push up for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you get my point. <laughs> they don't push up for five minutes. Like this is what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you get it. This is what I expected. Because already other people, when you read the social media from that point, they said with his career now it's over. It's the end. Okay. FIFA cannot tolerate this, it's the end. No wonder I'm coming down. I, I was asking myself, said, why do people now asking me when I said I've resigned? Now they're, hey, why is he resigning? I said, hey, hey you, are you not the people who are saying <laughs> FIFA Wasila? Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So that is my worst part. Because I, I was like, hey, these people. Dr. Kabungo was my good friend. Where is he now? We have even forgotten about him. <laughs> Gone, so. Mm -hmm. And now who would have said, Jan is gone? Nothing. That's what it is. But I can just urge Zambians to say, please, yesterday you were unveiling the, the new coach. Sooner or later, we are saying, uh, sooner or later, I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to add this. To Zambo Kamba Pali, our new coach. Which is a very bad thing. We need to support people who are supposed to be there. They need support. We're going to have these young ones. They may not going to be strong like me. But they, it will be just one blow and they'll be down. And what happened from there? You saw Jan on the list going to the World Cup. What happened? Then you say, hey, is it FIFA? You started scratching your head. And he was there. So, whatever happened, I remember the time I went to Kukata. I was caught by these big people. Baba BP. 
where they mentioned to say, it's just that the time things happened, they, done, they didn't come out quickly to say it was the heat stroke. Mm. If they did that, they would have. After officiating that game you saw, Belgium and uh, Canada, the goalkeeper for Belgium came to me. I said, I'm happy I've seen you again. After what happened, I looked at him and said, my brother, I'm here. After the game, now this is the final whistle. Kind of Zambians, a lot of Zambians were wait, uh, waiting to say, hey. <laughs> They were waiting. And the time I was warming up, I said, I know people at home, other people are waiting. That this time around, it will be 15 minutes. Yes. <laughs> hey. But I know to say, the God I serve, who is there, each day that comes, it's a different day. They don't gonna chill your mumba, but don't carry any coke. That's what I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he partially yeah, spoke about it, uh, but uh, coach, uh, two World Cups, not a minute. Yeah, I'm now a coach. Ah, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now a coach for the FIFA. FIFA. Yes, uh, indeed. Two World Cups. Uh, that's not a mean achievement. From uh, the young uh, referees that uh, you've worked with, do you think we have somebody that can? Uh, in the next five or ten years, uh, be able to meet some of your achievements globally? Yes, we're going to have. But if I they call, they're going to have a listening ear. Mm. These people you see here, these are our VP here. My president is not here, but he is here to represent my president mm -hmm. as well. Referees manager is here. We've, he's now representing the instructors that we have here in Zambia. If they're going to have a listening ear, we can have somebody to go there as soon as possible. But already, sorry my brother, already, just some few months ago, I'll mention this, because I'm now not active. Somebody who is active today was trying to challenge Gladys Lengwe, who has done a lot for this country. Trying to tell her to say, Who are you? To advise me. Me, I am a saint. I said, What? Gadis Rengo was my match commissioner. I was at Inkana. I think, I don't know which game. But I remember. She told me, Just listen to this. So when I look at that, if we can have such referees who cannot listen to such instructors, because when I look at the Gladys, hmm, who can talk? So if you are not going to have, people can listen, my brother. Mm -mm, it will be difficult. It will be difficult. So if we are going to have somebody, we are going to have patience, listen, and work. In three years' time or so, we'll see somebody trying to break my record. Two outcomes. We'll see. Salute. Super, super, super proud of you. Uh, salute. Uh, I wanted to find out, you, you mentioned that you had an encounter with the Belgian goalkeeper. Yeah. Would you say that was your biggest moment in football? Or do you have any other big moments in football that you like to share with us? Secondly, I want to know how far or too close are we to, you know, uh, having the next Janice Kato from Zambia, especially that football <coughs> has a vast technological wise. You now, you're now seeing the VAR seeing you know a lot of rules that are coming up how far or too close are we to having a, uh, uh, another referee that will easily catch up with the new rules of the game okay um thank you so much my brother um the first one uh the belgian goalkeeper i've mentioned about him is just because he mentioned my worst year where i tried to appreciate what my brothers didn't do so it like touched me to say, hey, this guy is happy to see me here. That, that was just the only thing that touched me. Not because, because I've officiated the game for him, I think, twice now. Was that Kotwa? Yeah, Kotwa. 
Kotua was with the Real Madrid. I officiated the final. Yeah. He was there. He was the goalkeeper. 2018, he was the, the goalkeeper for Belgium again. And 20, for him to mention it now, it was something that had just touched me to say, what a distance. For somebody just to appreciate that the guy is still standing and he's able to whatever pressure. The pressure doesn't even come within our country, even outside. You get it. So for me to stand like that is, I said, yeah, I really appreciate it. Okay. Second question, um, where you say, do we see another Jan? My brother, to tell the truth, each and every individual is different. You will never see another Jan. It's me, it's me. If we're going to have another referee who should come, should make his own or her own history. They are there. Let's talk about uh, this, this, this lady, Diana Chikotesh. Are you telling me she's another Jan? She's Diana, simple, Diana. And she's making her own history. And she, if she thought she would, she would be able, which I, I, I'm pretty sure, she's going to the World Cup. Sooner or later, in January or so, because they are trying, when you see ladies in the men's competition, maybe you didn't know. It's just that they want them to gain the confidence to get to that level. Are they able to do this? Diana, she's going for, is it Chan? No, she's yeah, she's going to, for, for Chan. Yeah. For men. Do we have men going for Chan? I love that smile. That gives me another picture. And, and, and how far or too close are we, we in, in terms of uh, the referees that we have catching up with the new rules and it, it, the it's, technology that has come? It's very soon. With the, his coming in this office, our referees manager here, he has already got the plan, which we may see we, within two years or so, we will see somebody going there looking into the plan that he has. It's not my plan. It is in his office. But when I look at whatever he's planning, we can see somebody. And the young ones we, whom we have on the panel right now, they've got that anger to get there. They're not just there to say, no, we are putting on the white badge. No. They've got that anger. If that person can do it, we can also do it. So sooner or later, my brother, we can have somebody. Um, my question is somehow related to this mask. Um, retiring now, when um, we don't have any referee that has probably achieved even one, half of what you have, don't you think you are uh, leaving too much pressure to the upcoming referees to fill your place? Thank you so much. May I address you as Dan? <laughs> 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 Madam, um, there's a saying which goes like, um, the best dancer knows when to leave the stage. Not looking on to who is the next artist who is going to come. No. So, I've gone that way because I know to say, if I can leave space for somebody who has caught enough time we can have another Jan to, uh, to, to do maybe two or three World Cups. My friend from Gambia, Papa, this is Qatar, 2022, was his third year. Why? Because he started at that tender age. He managed. Now when we have somebody who is 39, for Cup to recognize him, maybe Kosafa, whatever, whatever, he will be 44 and he will be retiring. Then we're not doing anything. So, we're looking at whoever is here now. Yes, we can. We can achieve that. So, for me to retire this time around, that's the best way that we, I can help the young ones. Rather than I stay there, then Nishinaba Chinga. Uh -huh. Because whatever will come, even AFCON, I told you earlier on, they will say, okay, we are having AFCON, 
Next, oh, Jan is still on the panel. Bring Jan here. I would have gone. I would, be, I would have been in Ivory Coast. You see? Now Jan is not on the list. They will say, okay, we are not going to consider Jan. Now who? So I have to leave space. I'll take the last uh, two questions. Uh, Chansa, and then I'll come to Brian. Good morning, Mr. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so uh, I have two questions initially. So I want to find out from the time that you started officiating, have you ever had any concerns where you thought in a particular match you could have done better if there's any you would like you to share decisions that you made that you thought you could have made a better decision afterwards? And then secondly, to those that are coming, referees often will go under a lot of scrutiny and pressure. Uh, what advice would you give them as they step up? Thank you so much, madam. Uh, the first one, for sure, um, I've encountered this, uh, this question where I would say, Ish, I would have done much, much better. Okay? I'll give an example. I think uh, it was se no, semi-final, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was in uh, Tunisia, where I was suspended. I was suspended for making that decision. Okay? My position in that particular day was after I, I watched... I watched the game, I said, I think if I, I had to take maybe two steps on the left, I would have gotten this decision correct. Okay? So I regretted that. I said, okay, ah, I think I would have done better. So even when the suspension came, I accepted this. I said, okay, let it be. Because for me, when I look at it, I would have done better. That's just an example that I can give you because I received a suspension later on that uh, particular game. There are other games that I, I would also mention, but because of time, a lot of them, they are there, where I would say, okay, this, the only thing that was helping me was, um, I loved watching my, uh, myself. Whenever there was a game, I would get uh, the copy of the game, watch. When I see myself running, I will feel proud, I said, yeah, this is what I need. You, you get my point. Then I'll go, oh, why was I walking there? Okay, if they send me to Zesco next week, nah, I'm not going to walk. Then you people will watch me. Ah, this guy, I think he's too energetic. He shouldn't die. Uh -uh. I was just thinking of those lines. Okay. Uh, second question. It's about uh, the upcoming, eh? What was the... The upcoming, yes. No, I've got the, I, I forgot. Yeah. With the upcoming, um, there are a lot of pressures coming from different areas. Whether in Zambia, when you go out, a lot of them. You get it. For instance, you have been given a game to officiate uh, uh, Sundowns by VP. Sundowns, you know, to say, it's the, the presidency uh, team. You get it. And you go there. Jan goes there as a, as a ref. So this is the thing I was mentioning earlier on to say, you must be intelligent. Political-wise, put it aside. Don't say, no, me, what is the law of the game? This is the play. Boom. <laughs> You're not going to achieve. So this is the time other people, I, I used to get comments where I said, ah, no, guys, I'm going to share Bankana, Aladi Chef. When he goes out, Aladi Chef. Uh -uh. It's about this. Okay? Today, my manager says, you are going for this game. Okay? So, so called uh, uh, Debbie, Mulaitina Sana. Even you, Mulaitina, you stand outside, Mulaitina Mabwe. When you go there, you say, okay, what is the strategy? What am I going to do? So, this is what we want the young ones to also to be now planning about the games. Once they do that, they are going to achieve. When I go to uh, Kansanshi. Ah, Kansanshi. Okay. I will just go straight no more. But when I go, okay, Kana Power, I know to say, okay, the pressure already starts on the paper. Already. Thursday, so paper yayamba. Mwayambo lemba imo bende. Ah, there will be this. Ah, what? Can you put language? I know that. Then I look at the paper. I tell my friend, I'm going, ah, Besuma, look at this. 
Beko mleo kumayama moneni. Namu ya mwena ama what yes. So you plan like that. So even the young ones, I always advise them to say, look at the game, plan, what are you going to do? When my dad was alive, I was telling him to say, he, he tells me to say, which game are you going to do? I'm saying, oh, naku, power. Oh, power. You know how it will be? I said, I know. Then I tell him to say, I know it, it will be parade. I tell dad to say, my strategy is this, and you are going to see it. First tackle, it will be yellow card. Bambok <laughs> second. And for sure, I go. First tackle, pa, yellow card. Pa. And the player will be like, ah, first foul. I said, move. I shook said, umumudi ref. That's what we want. It's not about a white badge. This is my advice that I can give to the young ones. Whoever has now come on the panel, I said, it's not about the white badge. It's about the authority, how you're going to do it strategically. You get it. So this is how our plan is. Thank you, madam. Very last question. Yes, my name is Brian Miller from US TV. I've got two quick questions, uh, FIFA. Yes, ma'am. The first one being, how would you rate the way referees in Zambia are being prepared as compared to the European setup since you've been exposed to, to, to that stage where we as a country in the world we prepare our referee. And then the second and last question is will we only see journalists imparting knowledge in the islands uh, through FIFA or should we expect some sort of uh, uh, journalists in school of referee? <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> let me start with the second question. Uh, we are not going to see Jan's Kazu school of whatever referring. No. There's nothing like that. Okay? The only thing that you may see, if it will be there, is uh, Jan's Kazu coming in and help the late ones. Impart knowledge and the experience, whatever experience that we've got whatever field we, we've gone to, that is going to happen. Uh, so if I have a school, we are not, a lot of people have been asking me to say, are you able to like open the referee academy? I was like, I think with the referee, we don't have such. We have a department at the FAS. And in each district, we have uh, referees. So we are going to have somebody from Chama, we're going to have Chama district, and we've got the, the executive there. Those people who are interconnected with the, our office here, under our referees manager, Mr. Banda here, then we're going to see how we're going to help those people. Me, I'm coming from Salanga, oh, uh, Kapir. We call it Salanga. Hey, um, we have people, and I'm so proud that we even have a lot of uh, uh, women, ladies coming in. So we are helping. So me, I'm there. I'm best there. So that is what we're going to do. Not Jan opening the, the academy. That cannot happen. We always work under FAS with our department of refereeing. Uh -huh. The first question was... Um, um, how would you rate? The rating, yes. With the rating, um, I know our friends there, they've got equipment. A lot of them. Okay, currently in Africa, we only have, uh, okay, three now. We've got Morocco, we've got Egypt, and we've got um, Tunisia coming in now, using over the, the VR equipment. Okay, Cameroon, they were thinking on those lives. They may achieve maybe next year, I don't know. So it's very difficult in Africa to like, okay, get to that way. Somebody was asking me a question, Jan, were you comfortable to have shared what game at the, at the World Cup? They consider a lot of uh, uh, things. Look at Jan. They will say, Jan, where is he coming from? He's coming from Zambia. Is he coming from Sakati? No, Kapiri. Which Kapiri? <laughs> they, so they will start looking for Kapiri, GPS, Yakana, no quicker. You, you get it, eh? So, 
who has got more advantage? I've got my VP here who offset games week in, week out with Vieira. And I've got Jan from Kapimpoji who doesn't do that. They go to the World Cup. Who will be given the chance to do more games? I think that question can be answered nicely. No, so? Yes. Even me, I cannot say, ah, okay, I'm here. At the... No, no, no. I said, okay, let it be. These people have got that advantage. Okay? So, I don't know. I don't know the future, but we hope we can get to that. Okay? I, I heard my president was also mentioning about it, which I'm sure the FA, our first here, they are also thinking of, uh, towards that. But the part of training with players, that we can do it. And my, my referees manager is already doing that. So the next uh, half, I would say, second half of the season, which is coming, I think, seven? Seven. Nine? Nine? Somewhere there. Okay? Our referees, you see them training with players. and well, There we can do it because we've got players here. And we've got instructors, they will do that. And we will do that, uh, all the trainings. But with the Viera, it will be quite uh, 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 very challenging. The thing where we will struggle here and there. But we'll see how we, we can work with the uh, GSTV. We'll see. We'll see how we can work. If we can, if it is possible, then it will help our reference also to have that knowledge. Because once we, 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 we say we are working with this and we get the videos, it will help the reference to say, oh, this is what Zambia is doing. I, I, I saw one clip, sorry, I saw one clip, um, I think uh, Mauritians, yeah, Mauritian referees, after they do the trainings, they make a video, it went viral, and they say, oh, this is what the people are doing. So it means that they are a step further than us, because we, us, we haven't produced anything. So sooner or later, because I know managers, we, we shared something, he said, Jan, we have already put this, and with what he told me, I know to say, hey, Zambia is getting somewhere. Yeah. So, my brother, with the, your questions, on the Vera party to be, I think, slowly, you know, to get to the point, but with the, these other things, we are there. Thank you very much. I'm sure at some point you are worried you thought I was going to cut you, but uh, the subject <laughs> that you raised at the end, I think uh, my sure. colleagues from the media have... Uh, Okay, the president speak about it, and I don't think many of them believe that uh, it's possible. That's why you saw me. <laughs> oh, oh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. No, no, because I I, 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 I think I shared something with the president. So he mentioned something. I said I heard about it because he told me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Ended on a very strong note. I'll just ask um, the banda to help us close. Then I think uh, VIP. We didn't plan to keep you this long, but uh, thank you very much that you sat through the whole session. We don't take your presence for granted. No, Mr. thank you. All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, all of you. I think uh, this uh, this was the time that we were waiting for. Uh, journalists, uh, there were phone calls coming, and also just trying to find out what is happening with Jenny. And you've heard it from him. And uh, outside here now, we are very clear, all of us, as to what the way forward is on journey.